Hello, this is the next video about logical programming in Prolog. Again, an example on paper. This time I want to talk about backtracking, what it is. It's basically just redecision making. That means you have some formulas that you apply. You try to pro prove this one, you apply these formulas and you end up in a not good result. And then you figure out, well, I actually did make a decision here and I could have made a different decision. So you change that decision that you made here and try again to apply various formulas and um, maybe if you're lucky, you end up with a good result. This is backtracking, re-decision making or going back to the last decision. This is what we have. We are getting a little bit more abstract, a little bit more prologue-like. That means we don't have the squares on the left and on the right side anymore and I just use big letters. Why? Because it's much easier to write and shorter. And I will make a process tree. I never heard that word before. I just call it like this because I think it's appropriate. We start off with the question. We want to prove Z. So we start off with the question, is Z true? And we apply rule number one. And we see that Z is on the left side, Z is on, Z is on the right side. And then we know that we end up with this. Now we need a little bit explanation. Why did we choose this rule? If you just look at it, yeah, of course, it's the first rule. It's good. But why didn't we apply this rule? Now we're getting very prologue. Now, w what? Um, we're talking about prologue internals now. This is just the way prologue works. You have a given rule set. Let's call it a rule set. And you have a question. Then prologue starts reading from the top and applies the very first rule that it finds. The very first rule that is applicable, I should say it that way. Also, Prolog also tries to start removing all this stuff from the left side. That means maybe this is a better example because Z is the only one here. We will always start to first remove P. If we cannot remove P, we cannot start going on and try to remove Q. So whatever comes here is the one that we want to process first. Therefore, we figure out that there is actually no rule that we can apply to this one. Why? Because we would need something like this, but we don't have it. So we know this is not going to be profitable. So now we need to backtrack. We, we backtrack until here. The last decision that we made was here. We had actually two decisions and we choose the first one. Now, Oh, why did I delete it? Now we choose the second one. And to make it more clear, let's write it down here. We apply rule number two and we end up with this one. Z on the left side, Z on the right side, we end up with an S. Now we start reading the rules from the top to the bottom and we see R. We want to actually remove the S here so an R doesn't help. So even though we start reading from the top, we figure out R won't help so we won't use it. We look at Q, won't help, won't, we won't use it. Why? Because we first want to remove this S. So we're searching for something in this shape where the S is on the left side. That means we're searching for a fact with the S. So we apply this rule. And what we are left with is the empty clause. And therefore, we have proven that S is true. And that's it for this example. Nothing else to say. Thanks for watching.